So today I'm playing my favorite combo deck on the ladder and it does so well I think it might even be pretty competitive. It's a new twist on an already super powerful deck. Hey everyone, Hex here, and today we are comboing again, this time hitting our opponent with one massive attack that they literally can't do anything about. But before we get going, I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone for their fantastic support for this channel. We are growing every day, and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button below to not miss out on future content, plus you'll be massively supporting the channel in the meantime too. But onto this deck, and we are comboing Myrrell with Devilish Valet, mainly to get around potential board stalls. I actually found it pretty easy to pull off this combo, as we're essentially going to get Myrrell out with a bunch of soldiers and play our valet and attack for lethal. Soldiers are pretty strong so our plan B is just a fair win with aggressive attacks using our soldiers. Myro is a 4 drop 3-4 that amongst other things says that when it attacks you create X 1-1 one, one soldier tokens where X is the number of soldiers you control. To get this combo to work ideally we'd have around 3 or 4 other soldiers out and if you attack with this and the devil that should be enough to put us over the edge. Devilish Valet is an all round combo player's dream as its power doubles each time a creature enters the battlefield under under your control each turn. So yeah, I've used this card many times before, but this is another way to whack our opponents with a huge amount of damage. In testing, I got to six figures, but realistically, 100 plus damage is the normal here. The rest of the deck includes most of the soldiers you are surely familiar with, with Recruitment Officer in the one drop slot that acts as a way to try and find our Devilish Valet. Valiant Veterans and Siege Veterans, both key pieces that can help pump our team. The Veteran also is great to put counters on the Devil to help its doubling. The next two cards work really great together we have Resolute Reinforcements. This is perfect with Devilish Valet as we can use it to surprise pump our creatures if we need to. And we're using Soul Partition as our removal of choice. The reason I love this card is that you can rescue your own creature that's being targeted. Or to be extra cheeky, Soul Partition your Resolute Reinforcements while attacking with the Devil. Then you get to replay it again. Your permanents aren't taxed like your opponents would. I'm using Baird, I'll give him Recruiter instead of Thalia here. It gives us another soldier for Myrrell, but with no Thalia I get to play Kayla's Reconstruction. I just love this card. It's an X white 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 sorcery that lets you look at the top 7 cards of your library and put X creature cards with mana value 3 or less onto the battlefield. So find a devil, find reinforcements and you are in business. Apart from that I've got 26 lands and that's the deck. What I love here is that this deck has a way to get through board stalls, get through life gain synergies and it's so explosive that you can hopefully win before your board may be wiped. Anyway let me know what changes you might make in the comments and let's see how I managed to get on with this. All right, on the play here, and yeah, this is a really nice hand actually. So we'll definitely keep this one. And opponent mulligans. Well, we'll play our tap land and say go. So we have a few different ways to play this deck I found. Um, normally I would hold open mana and then flash out the resolute reinforcements, but having to play slightly differently as we have the valet, and I wanna make sure that we might be able to utilize the Valet's ability with um, when the Resolute Reinforcements enters the battlefield. So we're going to do that. Opponent with a Bankbuster. And it looks like they're on Esper. There's Liliana, which is a little bit annoying, but so be it. And I'm going to get rid of the Veteran here. One of our better cards, but we're all in on our combo here. And there's Myrel. All right. That's got to be the best draw and it's certainly the best card to be playing on turn four. So we'll drop this. Going to have to deal with Liliana now, I think. And yeah, fingers crossed our creatures survive. So as it stands at the moment, I don't think the opponent knows that they are potentially dead next turn. This is how unassuming this deck can be. So we'll see what they play. Myro is shutting down the bank buster on our turn. So if they want to draw, they're going to have to do it now. And they just draw with a bank buster and pass their turn. All right. So I think we've got lethal here. Haven't quite done the math. But surely if we cast resolute reinforcements now, that's going to double the valet twice. And then when the Myrill attacks, it's going to double it another three times. So yeah, that is a excellent win there on our uh, very first game. All right, on the play here. Uh, hands okay. It's a little bit greedy. They're all th uh, three or four drops, so hopefully we find a creature we can cast early. But yeah, we'll start with our uh, Sundown Pass again. Opponent with a Swamp. Okay. Well, 
nothing else we can do except for cast our or we'll play our land and say go. Put it with a second swamp and an underdog. Okay. Arena. Okay, Arena is having a little moment right now. So yeah, let's uh, shut that down and reopen it. I do like our hand, so I want to make sure that we uh, continue playing with this. But hopefully we get a chance to uh, sell partition that underdog, because that's what I was planning on doing. Okay, fine. We do get a chance to uh, deal with this underdog. And it is a plains. All right, well... We're going to want to cast the Myral next turn. And Myral obviously needs soldiers on the battlefield. So probably best to play the veteran here. Also, it will immediately get out of cut down. Okay, well, uh, opponent has Liliana. Okay. And it's a plains. So I guess we just go for the valet and that gets rid of Liliana. So I'm not sure what just happened with Arena a second ago, but... Um, I've lost my avatar and the opponent's name looks weird. It doesn't have the platinum logo next to it, so not sure what's going on there, but they have a uh, graveyard trespasser and uh, we find a siege veteran. All right, well, we have to play Myril here. We have to slightly slow roll this. Hopefully we draw some soldiers soon and we will play our land untapped and let's say go. Okay, Infernal Grasp, fair enough. Straight on our Myrrh. And an Evolved Sleeper, okay. So a typical mono black deck here. No blocks. What I love about this deck is we can go down to one life because we can literally attack and win in one turn. So I'm not really that fussed about my life total. I'm definitely not going to be blocking if I can help it. Put it with a Bank Buster. And yeah, the valley as a 1-3 is doing doing nothing. It looks pretty unassuming on the battlefield. But a couple of resolute reinforcements and we're in luck here. So we'll play the um, Siege Veteran now. And I am going to put a counter on the valet as that will speed up our doubling later on. So we could attack here. But I think the opponent would just uh, well, double block, I guess. And yeah, they kill our Siege Veteran, but it leaves behind a 1-1. One, one. Sorry, they kill our Myral, and that leaves behind a 1-1 one, one with the Siege Veteran. No attacks as our Valet goes up to a 4-4. Four, four. There's a Soul Partition, okay. So unfortunately here, we don't really have much we can do. We're kind of waiting for some creatures. We're hoping for maybe a Kayla's Reconstruction or a Recruitment Officer. And yeah, I don't, don't think we've got any decent attacks, so we'll just pass the turn. This is a long game here. Trespassers now are 4-4. They find their fourth land. I'm keen to save the soul partition for as long as possible in case we draw a resolute reinforcements as you get to basically cast your resolute reinforcements twice on your turn, especially if you've got as much mana as we have and we keep drawing it, so... I'll continue to pump the Devilish Valet though. So as it's already a 4-6, we only need to double its power a couple of times to uh, do some significant damage. So a Resolute Reinforcements would pretty much be lethal for us now. And they find their fifth mana, okay. And Invoke Despair, okay, fair enough. Well, I'll get rid of my little token. So yeah, I'm not sure how we're necessarily going to uh, win this, but we're going to need some... Uh, might have to find a way to win without Myrl, but we draw Myrl anyway, so that's pretty nice. And Valet's now an 8-6. Still don't want to attack as it's our way of winning the game. And um, I don't want them to double block it, even though I'm not sure that they would. But another Bank Buster for our opponent. They can't activate these on our turn because of Myrl. Not sure if they know that. But just trying to work out if I have any kind of lethal going on here. But yeah, I'm surprised our valet has survived this long. And our veteran as well. Because I thought these black decks are kind of filled with cutdowns and infernal grass. But 
Mainly the opponent's not doing that at this time, so we destroy another land. Which is highly annoying. So I'm not necessarily sure if I had lethal then. I think if I'd attacked, if I'd put the counter, well, if I'd attacked, we could do 20, we'll be around doing lethal damage. But I think it's best that we just wait a turn there. Because our Devilish Valet would have doubled, what, twice? It would have gone to 24, and I'm sure they would have done some kind of block. And there's Baird. Alright, well, I think we've got lethal now, so we just cast Baird. The Valet's on as a 12-8. Now it's a 13-9. Get three more soldiers, and that's going to double another three times. And there's 104 power out of nowhere. And I'm sure the opponent's going to have to have some removal here in a mono black deck with seven open mana. If they do attempt to try and remove my creature, I'm just going to soul partition my own creature. But no, down to damage. <laughs> Did not expect that, but yeah, we got there. All right, on the draw. Now I'll keep this hand as we do have a one draw. But like always, we have a... Oh, we drew a second land, thank goodness. I'm gonna say we would be looking at maybe casting the Sundown Pass tapped, but we get to cast our Recruitment Officer and opponent with a Cult Conscript and Tenacious Underdog. Well, we're not gonna block. And that's lovely as it's a two drop, but we'll cast Baird now. And if they've got removal, they can uh, spend it on our creatures here. Uh, because our Valiant Veteran is a nice one that I don't really want them to remove. And there's Phyrexian Flesh Gorger, okay. Well, still not blocking. We have a line to victory here, we just need to find our Devil. But yeah, we'll cast Siege Veteran. And we're going to get a little 1-1 one -one out of that. Now the Flesh Gorger is going to be a little bit annoying. But we can take a couple of hits. I'm not too much fussed about their uh, life gain here. So we could block this underdog. I think it might be best just in the meantime to block that. When it goes up to 23. So we find a Siege Veteran and no fourth mana. I was hoping to double spell with the Veterans, but we'll cast our Siege Veteran here to be mana efficient and uh, get some counters. Gonna wanna start trying to find a way to block this Flesh Gorgeous soon. It's gonna throw the uh, counters on this 1-1. One, one. So I could put the counters, I guess, on the Siege Veterans to put them out of cut down range, but I kinda wanna throw away one of these tokens in a minute anyway. Underneath this Flesh Gorger, his opponent blitzes out there, Tenacious Underdog. And they get in there with quite an aggressive attack. Okay, well, it'll be a bit cheeky and a bit greedy maybe, but I'm going to definitely just take all of this, or take most of it. We go down to three, we're not dead, and there's a Cult Conscript. But hopefully we draw a land next turn. <laughs> just an another Siege Veteran, okay. All right, well, at least it's something we can play. And obviously we're going to have to start blocking now start killing some of their creatures so we'll make a couple of 4-4s four as that will cleanly block the Flesh Gorger and yeah we'll make another 1-1 one, one. so happy to sacrifice these 1-1s one, ones every single time they want to attack not a problem for me as they play a Gix and they're attacking with their Shadow and their Flesh Gorger okay well this is pretty straightforward double block on the Flesh Gorger and yeah we'll throw the 1-1 one, one underneath this shadow, no point trying to kill it as they're just going to pump it. But they've kind of thrown away their Flesh Gorger a little bit there, I think. And another Siege Veteran, okay, so that's the full playset there. Nothing else we can really do. So we'll drop that. It's got to be frustrating for our opponent as they're on 27 and we're only on 3, but they just can't find a way to get through us. I'm a little bit nervous about a... Um, Invoke Despair, that would kill us. And I don't think we've got any life gain in this deck. And I still don't think we've got any specifically good attacks, but I just know that if I can get this Myral out of my hand onto the battlefield, find one of our devilish valets, that should absolutely be lethal. So just holding up for that 
moment, really. This is one of those board stools that I was talking about. It's a really good way for soldiers to get through. Opponent with a seven cost flesh gorge, okay. So we find a planes at last. All right, well, I'm gonna take this opportunity just to play Myrel there, empty handed. We could double spell with our Valiant Veterans there, but I really wanna get this on the battlefield. This means a top deck uh, Devilish Valet would win us the game. But I'm gonna pump up our team or one of our tokens here so that I can cleanly block this 7-5. We get another 1-1. One, one. Yeah, with Myrel attacking next turn, that's going to create 10 tokens. And opponent attacks, well... Yeah, I'm just going to keep blocking with our tokens here. Down goes another Flesh Gorger, but they go up to 34. And a second main underdog, okay, so they can just draw a card. And they do find a removal, it's a cut down, okay. Cut down one of our Siege Veterans, but we have another three. And it is a land. Okay, well we have Kayla's Reconstruction here, so if we can cast that for X equals two. Just checking my mana to make sure I'm not going to uh, kill myself but if we can find a devilish valet within this we should have lethal uh, which we don't a couple of recruitment officers okay so not the end of the world there maybe we're gonna have to start using the recruitment officers to find our valet so i'm not entirely sure if i'm necessarily missing lethal at all but i think and now i'm gonna have to start attacking with myrel if they want to throw some of their team in front of it they can. Well, we make eight 1-1s one there. And this has got to be way too much for our opponent now. We're going to use Recruitment Officer to find our Valets. And yeah, we've got two major pump spells in our hand. Okay. Opponent uses Gix to cast cards from the top of our library. <laughs> Just their planes. They're having as much luck finding a Valet as we are. And yeah, they scoop it up. All right, on the draw here, a couple of reinforcements and a bed, so pretty low mana curve we've got going on here. I like to see that. And our one drop is perfect for our hand. Opponent mulligans and another swamp, okay. I think that's each game I've played against swamp so far, against uh, black decks. And it's LS Eel Court, okay, so kind of a sacrifice deck here. Gonna try and find a way to ping us maybe. And I uh, don't really want to throw away my recruitment officer. I'm not sure if they would have blocked, but if they have another one in their hand, they might have blocked. If they want to attack us, they can. Let's add in, okay. So they do get in there with their 2-2. It's going to block the 1-1. One, one. And I guess Alas Eel Core is going to ping us there. So it's something to be wary of there. But uh, we do get to cast a Siege Veteran. And yeah, just... Pump up one of our team, that gains, gains a 1-1. One, one. I really love Baird, I think it's such a good card in these kind of decks. You don't get to play with it in the blue-white soldiers, but splashing red I think it's just perfect. So I do have a Jeskai version of this deck that I've been trying to make um, using Iconoclast, and it's okay, it just needs some refining, so I'll be putting that up soon. And uh, yeah, I was playing this deck a lot in sort of testing today in the uh, play queue and I was winning winning so much. I um I did 150,000 damage in one turn, I think it was. Then thought, you know what, this this deck's too good for that. I need to uh, get into the ranked queue and see see what's going on. And uh, seems to be doing pretty well. This is our fourth game and we've won three on the bounce. And we've managed to combo off in two of them. And the third one there, we uh, would have comboed off if we could have find our valet. But our board is looking pretty strong. I'm actually not gonna attack now. Um, maybe that's a little bit passive, but I really don't like attacking into four open mana with two white sources. I just don't want to lose any of my creatures right now when we don't need to. We'll see what they do, but if they are just past the turn open with four open mana again, then I might attack. Well, they, they do. Okay, we find Myral. Well, we'll cast our recruitment officer here. There's definitely stick on our opponent's end. And uh, I think I'll just spread the uh, love a little bit here with the counters 
We're going to attack. Now we find Myro. I am more inclined to uh, want to cast that first. And then, yeah, they did have the uh, Wandering Emperor. It wouldn't have been in the end of the world if they exiled one of our creatures, but... I'm fine with this. This is what I like about this deck. It kind of wins out of nowhere, so... We can sit like this all game, as long as they don't have a board wipe, and I really don't think they would in the sort of a creaturey deck like they've got, but you never know, I've seen a lot of them today. There's a Gix's Command, okay, well, <laughs> it's going to decimate our board there, so they did have a board wipe. Pretty decent board wipe for them, as it's pretty one-sided, but we're gaining six 1-1s one out of that. We're going to make a couple more with our Resolute Reinforcements. That's uh, seven damage, or eight damage, I guess, coming our way. And I think this might be a time just to kill Adeline. I don't really want to, especially with Myrel. But if we don't draw a land next turn, then we're not really doing much. And I don't want Adeline to start taking over, so we'll get rid of that. We go down to nine, but we still got a whole bunch of creatures on the board. And there's a land. Excellent. Okay, well, we can cast our land now. And uh, yeah, we'll... we'll play our land sorry and uh yeah we get to attack down the wandering emperor here as well i think that's important that we get this off the board but we're already on eight life so we could be a little bit wary but we'll get rid of that planeswalker and then cast my current favorite card in myrel opponent with a plaza of heroes and it's gix okay so is this mean myrel survives of course not it's a go for the throw and they just pass their turn, we find a land, and yeah, I'm just going to uh, guess just use our Kayla's Reconstruction here for X equals 2. And it's a Valet and a Recruitment Officer or a Veteran. I'm going to take the Veteran, the Valet is just a 2-3. But it should be quite good if we can find a Myrel. I don't with a Shield Rid, okay, well that is a ticking time bomb as that's going to kill us in... Three or four turns, if we're not careful, we find a Plains. Okay, we've got to be very careful of what we do here. So I don't think we can win. If we attack with the team, they could probably take everything. And with LSE, Eel Core, if any of their creatures die, they ping us as well. So even with Resolute Reinforcements here, our Valet only goes to a four power, which isn't really good enough. So I'm going to have to pass our turn and uh, hope for something better. They got 26, there's a Wedding Announcement. Gain life. And okay, I Ganjo. Okay, so how can we find a way to get rid of Shieldred here? Alright, well this is gonna be on the opponent. See if they uh they're on 27 life. I'm gonna attack with the valet as well. They're on 27 life. I'm gonna see if they're worried about their life total. As I think okay, they do block with Shieldred. I had a feeling they were gonna do that. Don't think they needed to do that at all. They would have gone down to 23. I mean, it doesn't matter. They're on such a high life total. But they've lost their shield read, which would have killed us in a couple of turns. So pretty fine with that. There was no point us playing the resolute reinforcements. I'm hoping we draw another one. Yeah, I really don't know why the opponent blocked there. I think we kind of got away with one there, but we uh, tricked them. Okay, soul partition. Right, so Soul Partition means we can cast Resolute Reinforcements, then cast Soul Partition on the Resolute Reinforcements, and then recast the Resolute Reinforcements. But this will only make our Devil, devil uh, double four times, which is nowhere near lethal. So I think we're going to have to just hold back still. I mean, opponent just needs to attack with these 1-1s one here, and... Elas uh, Eel Call will ping us to death. Okay, well, they're looking at the top of our library. See what they find. Nothing. Okay, that was lucky. And yeah, they attack with the 1-1s, one but I'm pretty prepared for this. We will soul partition their Alice Hill core, and then we can now just block the 1-1s one with our 2-2s. Two and these die without any triggers. So they probably thought they were attacking for lethal there. Just goes to show that we just were sort of biding our time a little bit. Was nice. We find a planes, okay. 
Still, I don't think we have enough for lethal. Let me know if I've missed lethal. I really don't think I have. I think we've been really close, but just the 27 life has been too much for us so far. Another LS Eel Core. Okay, so they opt not to use Gix's ability. They pass their turn. Okay, not before a wedding announcement. Fair enough. So this is a really long game here. We've been on three life for what seems to be an eternity. Opponent up to 28 now. And Kayla's Reconstruction. Okay. Okay, so that's a really nice card to draw now. I want to keep two mana open for our Resolute Reinforcement. So I'm only going to do this for two. don't think you really want to be spending much more than two or three on the X for this. And okay, they, they are really good cards. Well, I'll take the Reinforcements and the Valet, I guess. And I'm not sure if this is lethal. Um, but I am going to attack with the team and uh, let the opponent work it out. So yeah, we'll cast our reinforcements here and at least this is going to start doubling some of the power, but not before the opponent gets their blocks in. I'm pretty sure this is uh, lethal. The two valets alone is going to be like 50 odd damage. So I'm kind of glad we held held fire on that soul partition a little bit earlier on. As uh, they did uh, try and attack us for lethal. But yeah, this is a lot of damage, I think. See what the opponent's life total goes to. Okay, so we did have lethal by quite a lot. Minus 26. And uh, yeah, nice little win there. All right, on the draw. Mm. Okay, this is going to be a really greedy keep by me. Um, a white mana and we're in business. But two valets in our hand. I don't think I can turn this down. Okay. We do draw a land. So paid off there to be a little bit cheeky, but that's the way it is. Our opponent on a Selesnia deck with the Wormlet and a Bankbuster. That's a nice little combo there as they come down and it's a uh, two power now. But we'll just do what we've been doing all game. We'll cast a uh, two drop. So we'll cast our bed here. And let's say go. If they got removal, they have removal. Not much we can do about it. There's Kadama right on curve. And yeah, this is a. This could be a good, a difficult game for us here. They've not missed a beat. And they're not even attacking with their 2 2. Getting in there with a Bankbuster, which has trampled because it has a counter. So they are ramping away, whereas we're not. Okay, well, let's just drop a, a Devilish Valet here. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can try and win in one swing. Because the Trample from Kadama is going to be a huge problem for us. That I think we're just going to have to not worry about being attacked and try and attack them. And it's a Dissident. And another Dissident. Okay. Okay. Okay, well they are down to one last card. I'd like to be able to play Soul Partition and another card. I guess we need a white mana though. We need, we could do with a second white mana. Okay, seven damage coming our way. Not blocking this. I think this might be a, uh, a loss here. Not really sure there was too much more we can do. They've they have had a really good curve. I do like their deck. I've played this deck before. Didn't put Kadama in it though. That is a nice little card, but. We don't find a white mana, so we can't double spell this turn. We're going to have to do just one thing. Cast my veteran. I guess we could have held open soul partition, but yeah, I just don't think it's going to matter too much right now. They're going to be able to cast pretty much anything straight from exile anyway. And there's a bank buster. Just hoping the opponents may be a little bit worried about our two open red mana. And yep, yeah, they are... Drawing away with their bank busters. They certainly um, won us one in the game, probably. The bank busters here. So much value. If we can find a Myra, we might get away with this game. Opponent attacks with a 4 4. I would just love to be able to flash in the re re reinforcements here to block their 4 4 with my valet. But yeah, two red mana isn't what we need. And Kayla's reconstruction, well. We're certainly not going to be casting that anytime soon. And I think this might be our first loss. 
Okay, and no attacks. And yeah, well, I think this time we're just going to have to hold open Soul Partition and just hope that we can stay in this game. Okay, so if we can get rid of Kadama, we can get rid of the Trample. And steal Seraph, alright. Pretty nice card for them there. And yeah, they're getting so many counters everywhere. I'm just going to let them do their thing, and I'm guessing they're just going to attack with everyone. <laughs> Even have a clay champion, okay. So they're pumping away their team. And I'm guessing they're going to attack with the 5 5 and the 7 7. Okay, they're going to also attack with their. Bankbusters as well. So I could soul partition their Kadama here, I guess. Um, but we would end up having to block with what all of our board. So don't think there's any way out of this game. So I'm just going to uh, let the damage go through. And uh, yeah, they totally and utterly outclass us in that game. So good game to them. All right, on the play here, and I do like this hand. I <laughs> I didn't notice that we uh, I didn't have any white mana then. Okay, but there's white mana, thank goodness. Um, probably would have mulliganed that if I uh, in second thoughts, but whatever. We get to cast our bed, and there's a cut down. Can't be too scared of uh, the cut downs. Opponent is now open, holding open. Two open mana will cast our valet and attack, and they do not have removal. That is surprising. Oh, they miss a land drop. Okay. Once again, our land is a little bit iffy with only mountains. We are playing a lot more white mana than mountains. Maybe that's something to look into later, but I think we'll just uh, attack our opponent, and I'm going to just hold soul partition here. If they're a little bit mana screwed, then we might be able to deal with... Okay, well, they don't play anything. Okay, and there's a planes, thank goodness. Alright, well this time we'll play Recruitment Officer. Double up our valet. They didn't have removal last turn. It's all well, do I play the reinforcements now or hold open soul partition? I think it's best now to cast the reinforcements. Do a damage, get the opponent down to 10. And we're going to be able to soul partition any blockers in the way. Play Recruitment Officer next turn. So, it's looking pretty nice. There is a Flesh Gorger. Okay, well, the life gain on that would be a little bit annoying with what's in our hand. And I don't think we can win on this particular turn. So uh, let's get this Flesh Gorge out of the way. It's going to take us... Oh, we have to pay three life for that. And yeah, cast the other officer and attack our opponent for a bunch. They go down to four. Okay, so anything that's in the way we should be okay with, except if it has a lifelink. Okay, opponent was a Rakdos deck, missing red mana. That explains a lot there. I know the feeling about missing uh, one of your colours, but no matter what they play, we should be able to attack past it and yeah, just a customary removal there on one of our creatures. And uh, yeah, opponent scoops it up. So thanks for watching. I absolutely love playing this deck. Soldiers are so strong anyway that I think you can get away with just splashing some red for the devil, especially if you're looking at just using Myrule. I am trying a similar version that's a Jeskai version using Iconoclast, but I need to iron out a few issues there, so stay tuned for that. But as always, thank you very much for watching, subscribe if you can, and I will speak to you again very soon.